All right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. Amos Kester. We are here in our demonstration farm here in Bias Estate. So this is a wooden greenhouse, as you can see. The top is the tarpaulin, the UV treated tarpaulin, and the side is with the net. So this is a very small facility, it's a demonstration farm for those who do not have a lot of cash to do the uh, pole or the galvanized greenhouse, 8 meters by 30 meters. This is just 8 meters by 10 meters, so it's a small one. You can actually start something like this within your environment. So we are here in the evening hours, the snails are just about coming out. We've just finished doing the watering of the snail pen, so now we're about feeding them. But uh, before feeding them, I just want you to see what it looks like in the evening when they start coming out for food. Because once water touches the ground, they become active. That is why seasonal changes are not affected here. Uh, do, do not take place here because of the continual watering. So without wasting much of your time, uh, you can just come in so that I will show you some of the snails as they started coming out. Now remember these were young snails that are introduced inside here. These were not uh, breeding snails that were brought here. They were introduced from the pens as they hatch. So you can see when you come here now, you will see some of them here. Get a closer view. We have to mind our steps so you can see them. You can see how big they become. And this one is about cannibalizing. But as the stages grow, see how they are. They can feed together. You can see under the bushes. Okay, we'll just take you inside and show you a few more. Okay. So you can see this is about crawling out. That's why we have the concrete block on the ground so we can actually see our step so they move about everywhere you can see these ones here let's see if we have some of them down here not many okay so we'll check this other side okay you can see some of them down here they're moving about look at the dwarf banana so you can see how they are they live their natural life here actually so when the sizes are very big like these ones they're almost about to lay we come in and we start sorting them out so if you look at the floor you will see them just everywhere living naturally so you can see them they're very very interesting you can see the sizes are quite big these are just five six months and they're doing very well so let's look at them here now you can see we have a banana here and they are all enjoying the banana so you can see them here so there are so many they are everywhere inside the pens now when you look at it you see they spend more of their time under the leaves uh, sorry under the wooden structure so at night they begin to come out okay so we can see right here too wow so you can see how they are so this is not storytelling this is actually facts and truths that you were seeing so you can see the snails under you can see they are about making their moves. Some of them are beginning to crawl out. So any moment from now, we are going to be introducing the feed on top of the platforms. So we have to be careful where we step. At this point, you can see them they're coming alive. So some of the eggs have been dropped. Some are incubated already while some are on the surface. So these ones on the surface invariably we would lost to them. That's just the disadvantage with the greenhouse system because you don't have complete control over the eggs. But you will also see that some of them have hatched and come out on their own and they can live together just fine. So 
it is what it is so you can see the environment these are the dwarf banana that we planted to tell you that this has been for quite a while so you can see when you look at the trunk of it there are so many snails down there so you can see from here we can actually harvest this and consume or give it back to the snails as you can see over there so that's what it is and um, let's show you one more and we call it a day ouch okay we have another one here you can see the snails right inside yeah it's kind of dark but you can see them clearly so we make it as natural as possible for the snails so this is this is a small one so for those of us who don't really have too much to start a commercial one this has been standing here for over a year you can see it's still very durable we've actually started investing here we look at the sizes the big sizes we take them out that is the point of lay and we sell them to you our teaming fans and audience so you can see like this sizes we have many of them like this so we gather them and we sell while the younger ones continue to grow to this stage so that is how the greenhouse is being managed so it's quite simple yeah it's quite simple so you can see the vegetation thrives year in year out we are at the peak of the dry season but you can still see it's green inside you can see how well the dwarf banana is doing they don't grow too tall you can see them fruiting and they are not at the roof of the building so we have virtually everything under control here there are no snakes because we guarded against that as well so there are a lot of things we can show you as of course as we continue with the series we'll be giving you updates so like i said very soon we'll be going back to the greenhouses we've been installing i will be showing you the videos how they are doing inside the greenhouses so you know that we know what we are doing like i always say so this is a demonstration project that has been here for more than a year it's a small one maybe when i take you out i'll give you the view of this structure it's a wooden greenhouse so all we need to do is just secure it from the snails escaping and every other thing is fine you can't see any of the snails hanging on the the walls because they have adjusted they are used to the environment they are always under the grasses and that is how they live their life so here we feed them of course after now we're bringing in feed you've seen one of my videos where i was actually feeding them so we'll bring in feed and after then we'll close it up that is it so the management system of the greenhouse is very simple and you can see how they are thriving this is practical you are saying it yourself it's not like we are just telling you so uh, we actually know what we are doing so um we thank you we, uh, we, we appreciate you for following and also for keeping tabs with us so as much as possible we'll keep updating you on all these videos so today i am at home i'm in bielsa state i'm not in kaduna i'm not in lagos i'm not in abuja but i'm actually in my home state Biosa, where we have this demonstration farm now if you remember a video i made on the two different species of snails some time ago where we had the western the southern the suturalis the ovum the ovum laying 360 while the suturalis laying 2000 plus to 200 snails within 400 uh, between four months this is where we transferred those snails to so if you go back to the video you see how many months down the line and of course you've seen some of the sizes some of them have started laying eggs as well so the system works 
from the concrete pen to the greenhouse it works completely it's perfect so you don't have anything to worry about we are always professional about our business so thank you god bless you the number to call is plus two three four eight zero six eight five two five zero three two god bless you and bye bye